Welcome back, everybody, to uh, Hat in Time. <laughs> Say, uh, do something for us, Hat Kid. There you go. <laughs> um, welcome back. Uh, I'm gonna give you guys a quick apology here. <laughs> I forgot to uh, to export the video from last stream onto uh, my YouTube channel. So uh, we're gonna be out a, a crucial part of the game. But what you guys missed was the. Uh, the infamous, uh, what was it, the, uh, the Twilight Town-esque area? Yeah, look at that, look at that cute face right there of a killer. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, unfortunately that part is lost to the Aether, because after a certain amount of time, Twitch decides to delete your, your videos that you have archived on there, so uh, it's gone, gone, unfortunately. Uh, I'll try to replace some stuff, but not everything. But, uh, without further ado, welcome back. Uh, at the time of this recording, I am trying to record this thing with no internet. <laughs> so I'm not streaming this part. I'm going straight in by myself. I tried to play this game with, uh, with some uh, buddies on very, very cheaply uh, made uh, uh, 4G LTE, but that broke my, uh, my connection. So, uh, yeah, we are unable to do that for the time. Uh, oh, this is really <laughs> So, you guys are going to have me by myself in the meantime. Uh, we're not going to get to the uh, contractual obligations. We'll just redo the Vanessa's matter section. And I'm going to show you guys just how fun it is to beat this uh, level in a very short amount of time. So, I'm going to be trying to get this uh, out there for about a 30 minute increment and then move on to our next game. So if you guys want to see some bite sized stuff, it's going to be bite sized stuff you'll get. So uh, yeah, let's go to Act 4, Queen Vanessa's Manor. This is historically the most uh, jaw dropping and uh, tone changing of the game. In this game, as you have seen, is most likely very kitty in nature and you know very goofy. But this exact area is such a mood shift that everybody looks at this as like, oh man, this is a kiss game. <laughs> so yeah, what if we go over here? Let's take you. Yeah, I also got my sprint thing. I saw the hedgehog uh, headband over here. Feels really weird considering that uh, uh, Sonic uses a different button. Uh, now I can be getting all the pawns on. So the first part of the challenge is actually getting to the manor itself. Um, you gotta go through all these little gimmicks here. And this is a mechanic that we have in the game that's gonna be explored in more detail in uh, my least favorite world. So uh, be aware of that. Get this the wall now. Yep. There we go. And then we got ourselves these exploding like, cherries. I don't exactly know why they are still here, but uh, we just do that. Yep. And here we go. These things, uh, as soon as you activate this, some uh, some planes of existence will pop in and jump on them, and then others will disappear. So the cool thing about this, uh, I guess in more wise, um, Vanessa, I guess, has some type of connection to uh, our contract guy. Um, I guess the numbers. Now one thing that did freak me out, apparently, these statues can actually change you. In the uh, earlier one that is no longer with us, uh, I actually was trying to talk about this thing right in front of this guy. And this guy spooked the heck out of me because it started moving. Uh, I believe it'll start, there you go, right there. <laughs> this thing will start moving after you the moment you look away. That was terrifying and I never knew that, that was the case. That is terrifying. I didn't know that. So anyway, you can go inside the manor like an 
absolute box that the hat kit is, or you can decide to do the other thing, which is what I'm about to do right now. You can go all the way over there, or you can go all the way to the very back. Because uh, at the end of the day, uh, our, our buddy boy, uh, I'm not pull up. I think this is the exact same box. It's probably the same. Right, so you go in here, right? <clears throat> this kit you here is going to give you like a quick. Hey, you're not able to do this type of thing because you're not able to use your specialty uh, moves in here, which makes you a little bit more vulnerable. So this shadow creature guy is going to come over here and be like, uh, where's that? Where's that? Right, right, there he is. You'll be seeing it in a little bit. Right? Kyuubi, boss told me to remind you, uh, you signed that paper about not using your hats while in the manor. Yeah, don't use them. Thanks. <laughs> so it's like they knew that this would be the uh, exact way to get inside. So you can go in here and open up the lock um, with your, your fancy fancy key here. That's how you start the, the very horrifying puzzle. But I'm a wimp <laughs> and we're going to go right over here because there's this little corner here that you cannot see. Like I, I can vaguely see, I don't even think you can see it, you know, but if you do this, if you crawl all the way over here, Yeah, it's over here. Okay, it's over here. If you go all the way over here, I <laughs> went to the wrong spot. <laughs> You're teleported all the way to the very end. <laughs> Hold the key during that. That's pretty nice. <laughs> that looked really weird. I've never seen her actually hold the key while having the uh, the hourglass. <laughs> That's cool. So yeah, if you did that the normal way, you would have to go through the house while being chased by a terrifying ghost that is uh, uh, may or may not do some weird things to your character. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna move on now to our our next one. One thing I don't like about this game, uh, for, at least for the port for uh, the Switch, is that it takes a very long time to load. Not a big fan of that. Alright, now let's go. Let's go to our new official mission here. Uh, do you suck on well? This one is a fun platform one. Based on the picture. But yeah, so uh, in terms of everything you guys saw, you, you pretty much haven't really missed much. It was more about getting captured by uh, our uh, contract guy. I forgot his name. But he uh, pretty much st stolen her um, her soul in exchange for doing all these uh, life-threatening tasks. And of course, Hat Kid is not your average kid. She's going to end up doing all that stuff, plus more. And as you guys are about to see here. Oh yeah, so it's a platforming section here. Uh, she has a lot of good control for this game. Okay, so we're gonna follow where the game wants us to go to. Ooh, ooh yeah, the purple spoon on the floor. Subcon well is this way. Thank you, thank you, shadow creature guy. Oh, okay, I can actually touch him. Okay. That was a dead, dead, dead shadow uh, yeah, guy. Objects from other dimensions. Oh, okay, so, oh, after being there for a while, we'll grab the hand for you. Oh, she's in the animation class. Oh, that's cool, okay. I didn't know so. Alright, we're gonna activate this thing here. Help us get across this. This is where we get our, our fancy new shot.
instinctually, I know that it doesn't be right. What was this? Oh, no. It's, uh, I know it doesn't mirror real life. Uh, I know it doesn't mirror real life, but my goodness, it's like for some reason the game gives a condition to assume that they're bouncing enough to jump on. You got in the song, you died in some form of a or two. And, uh, yeah, I think most games they treat, they treat the, uh, uh, the mushrooms as somehow the object that you can probably use guys. Does this oh hang yourself like he does right now? I guess we'll be coming back here once we get our uh our uh our big muffin. Alright, let's let's uh what are we getting here? That that chest is probably our first shot. Okay, we're gonna look Oh no! Ghost are very much uh Open it the wrong way. What's going on here? Was it was I not supposed to do that? <laughs> it was kind of in my way. But whatever. Dog, are you gonna keep licking yourself? You had a whole bunch of water and then you told me you were done. What's up with you, man? Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm looking at you. Oh, look at that frame rate right there. <laughs> Yay, I cleaned this up well somehow. It was just blocked with ice. <laughs> Yay! And somehow there was a uh, chaos last there. Uh, chaos emerald, the, the green one. All right, cool. That's what they dropped here. Like this one, there's another bullet somewhere around here. I bumped into two by accident, so I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get lucky enough to see uh, a random thing to have a little fracture here. Hey, it's my buddy here. I'm 
Not everything I sell is of value. I also sell terrible badges. And yet, people buy them anyway. <laughs> That's called a completionist. <laughs> One might deploy your umbrella before deadly impact. Cool. Upper badge. Upgrades your... Ooh, to a scooter! Yeah! Did you get shot up yet? Did you get the first one? with explodes during the uh, Mafia Town section but it is very much a nice addition to the Mafia Town theme where you just have that bumpity bumpity bump fortunately he won't be here to, to see that but uh, or hear that but hopefully he does and when he watches this later <laughs> I'm gonna tell him after I'm done with all these videos like hey dude I hope I record all these videos they are gonna be coming out one after the other it's gonna be great <laughs> but yeah uh, the scooter is a Definitely a nice addition to the game, uh, both auditory and functionally. So we got ourselves our next uh, next battle class. We're gonna be ignoring that section. I like going world by world. Uh, we'll, we'll try to clean up as much as we can for here. We're about what are we, 16 minutes in. Yeah. We got two of those. Final boss. Uh, uh, yeah, let's do the toilet window. <laughs> I forgot to read the other one. Let's see here. Uh, Subcon 4 is obligation to clean the old well. Term of day, a micro atmosphere. What is this one? Toilet Doom, chapter Subcon 4 is obligation to get rid of this weird toilet. <laughs> Term of the day, encore, and atmosphere unpleasant. Nice. They, they did a good job with this art to kind of just flesh out the character and to make it as cute as possible, and I, I, I can appreciate that. <laughs> but this one in Dire is like, yes, you're, you're fighting a, a sludged up uh, uh, outhouse. <laughs> of course you'd have a reaction like that from a, from a little girl, <laughs> if that is actually what she is. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's go. This is like a back to back boss battle because after this one, I think we actually fight the contract master. <laughs> he has a heart in there. <laughs> that was that. Alright, whoa, everyone's freaking out. Oh, probably because of that. <laughs> all these pipes here are causing, uh, I guess it's uh, causing all this commotion. <laughs> Double hit. That's nice. 
Take a run. Electric guitar and just go music. That would be nice. All right, we got the. Uh, you're, you're still escaped into this outhouse. Whoops. Whoa, what? I never noticed that. Your soul escaped into this outhouse. Whoops. <laughs> oh, okay. So that was her uh, out of control uh, soul. That's uh, that's a also possible implication of how. Uh, That, that's just uh, my opinion. <laughs> okay, cool. So I think this should also lead us into our uh, final boss. Because the, the boss juice is probably filling up all the way this time. But before we get into those, let's do those um, those fun uh, side uh, levels. Because they're going to be giving us some more hourglasses for our troubles. So i got to figure out where they're at based on the picture given. I know Mega Man. <laughs> oh, he's, anytime I see that, I just think of Mega Man. Hey, it's Mr. Potato Man. All right, cool. Let's uh, let's finish this. Or at least uh, let's get started on uh, hunting for the uh, location. There we go. Hopefully I don't have a hard time trying to to, to uh, dunt this one down. Primarily because uh, yeah, this is this could uh, get very very long if I don't uh, uh, narrow down with the help of my uh, snapshots. All right, all right, here we go. Come on, speed it up, game. All right. This I think has like the most realistic features. Which is 
I approached this thing, I approached them a long while back, <laughs> and now they're, they're showing this thing. Contractual obligations lately. You better be. Remember our little deal? Check it out! Oh, oh, it was incredibly it was annoying. Wall. 
Whoa. I actually even go past this thing. Or is it only the toilet? Oh, that's the toilet. Feels like it's part of that little section. Hmm. But I did find something interesting. Oh, 
forgot that was home. saves whatever I picked up that is all the more goody all right we're about 37 minutes in I think that's probably a good time to kind of stop playing this one and then we'll move on to our next one here okay hold on hold on I am trying to try to think of where I could possibly be at I looked everywhere here but again I did look everywhere in Mafia Town but I think Mafia Town was way way bigger and had more um more hidden locations than just that. Oh, uh, I like how they showed me the potato head guy, even though I don't have the power up to actually make it in there yet. <laughs> I know you need that ice uh, ground pound if you want to do anything. Okay, there's the mail delivery service. Okay, well, I guess we'll have to look into that next time. So anyway, we'll see you guys next time, and uh, see you then. Bye.